What's up everybody? Out here in uh, Anglin today, I'm gonna be basically just making sure that my fork that was just serviced can still go off of jumps and lips and feel the same as I did um, take it out to Auburn in full flow suspension. They did a full damper service and just overhaul on the fork itself. Um, it needed it. I've been riding it for about seven months hard and obviously you've seen everything that I've put it through. Um, it was still feeling good to me. It wasn't feeling slow or sloppy, but it just needed it for uh, the hours wise and it it was kind of a silly decision to um, to do this right before the race. Um, but I'd rather this thing get me through the race than fail on me in the race. So that's kind of why I made that decision. It doesn't quite feel the same. So I'm going to take it out here to the jump park and just make sure that I feel okay off all the lips and that um, basically I can just send it. So it's going to be interesting because this is the first race I've had since 2019 and that was back in Ashland, Oregon. So I got third place in sport in that race. And uh, so I'm moving up to expert this year for all the races in the CES. I'm going to be an expert. So this will be the first test race um, just to kind of get me back into the flow of competing and just um, see where I'm at. Um, I don't necessarily care about the results. Um, I do care and I do want to try to win, but that's not the point. It's just to uh, make sure that I'm back into the flow of, you know, how I want to handle races, stay hydrated, energized with nutrition. Basically, yeah, we're just going to give the fork a little bit of a test today so that I can go into tomorrow, get maybe a practice run or two in on Narnia and down and out, and then it'll just be race time. So. Um, without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. The mosquitoes are going to kill me, and um, we're going to hit a couple jumps. Okay, as you can tell, the well, you probably can't tell, but the fork is freshly serviced. And uh, yeah, as I just said, we're going to go take it and jump it. So let's, let's go do this. Got my Galaxy gloves on today from hand up. First time I'm trying these guys out. They do have a little bit of cloth, so I can wipe the lens too, which is cool. And uh, yeah, let's get up there. All right, main line. Hello. Just gonna get right to it. Originally I had 64 PSI in the fork. It did feel a bit harsh yesterday, so ended up dropping it down to about 61. Left the compression exactly the same. One click of high speed from fully open and about eight clicks of low speed from fully open. Let's see. Okay. Nice. So at speed, it feels pretty darn good, actually. Um, that's awesome. Let's give it a couple more runs. I did notice that it was kind of harsh yesterday, just on um, Buckeye at Skyline, so. I ended up taking out just a little bit of pressure because the oil is actually doing its job now and it's making the fork work uh, how it should. So seven months is a long time to be on a fork without servicing it when you're riding every day. So it feels a heck of a lot better. Yeah. Nice and supportive. Two runs in and I almost don't even want to touch it. Cool. I'm gonna do some drops, check the travel. Still got some room to work with, but I'll probably hit that. Big thanks to Dave too, because Dave's worked hard to make all this stuff enjoyable for everyone. And I really can't um, tell you how much this has helped me as a rider just get used to repeating jumps and lips and feeling stuff over and over to, to get more confident with my own riding. Then when I go other places, it does translate and it does show, so. Um, good job, gentlemen. This place is a heaven sent. All right, gonna hit B line right next to main line. Smaller jumps. And then I'll finish on that little drop, that wood drop I just pointed out.
definitely didn't feel bottom and uh i didn't get to bottom either so i got a good amount of space left just for those oh shoots <laughs> all right let's get back up and do a couple more little fingers and then i might just call it a day be a short sweet simple video so i don't get too worked up and i can just go to the race fresh with fresh legs and uh and then we'll see how i do now, one more thing i want to talk about before i drop in is tire pressures typically i've been known to run about 24 and a half 27 and a half psi so 24 and a half at the front 27 and a half in the rear and after consulting with paul the punter he said no 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 dude at your weight and that's not the tire pressure i should be running so i said dude you don't really know me but um i've found that this has always been my best pressure that said i did drop my psi just to what he recommended 21 in the front 23 in the back um so i did notice that that was too low for my my preference that's just quite a bit of a jump um, so I ended up bringing the, the back up to about 25 and I'm running about 23 in the front now and the back is a DH casing so DH max grip casing and 25 psi seems to still be pretty firm to where it's not folding or xing on me too much and then with this front Asagaya being an XO plus casing it's actually pretty solid at 23 psi um, I thought 24 would be as low as I go but 23 has been pretty good, so. Just a quick tip from Paul, is you don't necessarily need the uh, highest pressures. Um, there is a nice balance of, of soft and firm. So thanks, Paul. Nice. Little drop here. Tried to bottom that out. Let's see where it is. Nice, that's actually pretty good. It's still below the debonair and the max travels up here, so got a good three quarters of an inch left. And I tried to push that into the ground pretty hard, so I think 61's my pressure right now. And uh, just, yeah, one click of high speed and then eight clicks of low speeds. Kind of my magic setting right now, so. Not gonna mess with that. There's 18 clicks of rebound and I'm at 10, which is one faster than medium, which would be nine. And um, yeah, it's working well. I'm actually more surprised today than I was yesterday. Thanks full flow. Did me good. All right, main line again. yeah that's a pretty good wrap I'd say that's all i needed from today just to know you can go up and drop some jumps and not bottom out with the 61 psi so that was full flow's recommendation they said i was probably running 64 psi a little firmer psi because the dampening circuits weren't quite doing their job the longer you run a fork or a shock between a service interval um, more air gets in there more chances there is for the the dampening characteristics to kind of seize or go away so um, pretty satisfied that I don't quite need as much pressure now to uh, to get the performance I'm looking for and I'm about a 165, 170 pound rider. And if you look at this chart, let's see, for 160 to 180, it does show I should be between 54 and 62 PSI. So I'm just under 62 now at 61. So I'd say that's good. It's not too drastic from where I was. I can still use the travel well and I still have just a bit left um, in case I make a big mistake, so. I'm pretty happy, pretty surprised at how well it's handling now. I did just need to give it a day. My preconceived notions or ideas of how this is going to handle. 
out at Skyline on Buckeye. Um, kind of made me nervous because I'm like, shoot, didn't really want to service this thing while it was feeling good just before a race. But at least now I know that the fork isn't going to fail on me in the race. It's not going to compress and dive into his travel or, or have a catastrophic failure, which is good. And uh, yeah, new tire pressures are working well. Thanks, Paul the Punter. 23 in the front, 25 in the rear. Seems to be gripping just a little bit better too now that it's loose. Um, all in all, it's a good day, so I'm gonna call it here, save my legs, and I'll see you guys at the race. A quick summary, um, it was a good little day out here, just kind of checking the bike, uh, making sure that the fork felt good off the lips of the jumps. Um, there's maybe just a couple jumps at X Checker that you, uh, you wanna be sure that you're confident on. Um, so I felt good and confident with the jumps out here. Hopefully it'll be the same for me out there. I can just go ahead and send it and um, pedal hard where I need to. And then also just kind of uh, relax and get through the gnarlier bits because you're not gonna win a race or lose a race by going as fast as you can on the hardest stuff. Um, you can lose a race actually by taking the wrong lines and by making mistakes because you can't make up time. You can only be smoother to create more time. So that's about it. I think um, I've done everything I needed to do today. I'm going to save my legs, like I said, and um, I'll see you at the race. Take care.